Welcome to our review on diffusion. So the first thing and the most important thing we need to remember here is the definition. So diffusion is the movement of particles from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. So what we can say is that they are moving down a concentration gradient. We need to remember that this is a passive process and any passive process is one that does not involve energy. If we consider cells, what we find is that oxygen enters the cell and carbon dioxide will leave the cell. And this is all through the process of diffusion. Now, the reason they can actually diffuse is because these are very small substances and they're able to cross that cell membrane. So do remember that because sometimes they like to give you a diagram of a cell and ask you what substance enters it and what substance leaves it. So oxygen enters the cell, carbon dioxide leaves it. If we're thinking about how the rate of diffusion can actually be increased, the first thing we've got to bear in mind is that if we've got a large surface area, the rate of diffusion is going to increase. And that's what our leaves did. So if you think back to what we said about our leaves, we said they were broad. So this is going to give us that large surface area to increase the rate of diffusion. We need to remember these three factors that will affect our rate of diffusion. First one is the distance. If we have a shorter distance for the particles to move, then the rate of diffusion increases. So if we think back to our leaves, we said that they had a shorter or smaller diffusion pathway. So that's the reason our leaves are thin. Second one is our concentration gradient. And the steeper the concentration gradient, which means that we've got a bigger difference between the area of high concentration and the area of low concentration, then the faster our rate of diffusion will be. And finally, as we've already mentioned, the greater the surface area, the faster the rate of diffusion.